As an architect, you just feel more creative in a space like this. It feels open and quite airy. One thing they've really noticed is the really good air quality we have. The idea was that we wanted to learn more about Passive House. We also wanted to create a really fantastic new office for us to work in. It was a shed clad in asbestos. The asbestos was degrading. But when we came here, we saw the potential of it. It was fantastic. We could see the structure and the, the light and the views, and it was total contrast to where we were in Birmingham. Because it's green belt, we had to use the existing footprint and existing volume. Uh, so the floor slab is the existing one, and the structure is the existing as well, that we just sandblasted, and it kind of went for oxidized, and gives a lovely kind of raw character to the new building. The philosophy was to wrap the existing structure and for that we used SIPS panels, so they're Kingspan tech panels with additional insulation on the outside and then a rain screen of cedar cladding. The way that the building works you've got natural ventilation, cross ventilation coupled with the MVHR units so you've got an internal environment which is a comfortable internal environment throughout the year. We found also a great contractor, this was also their first passive house project. We were learning, they were learning and we could all see the benefit in terms of the quality of the build. Everybody worked together with a common goal to achieve this. We're definitely striving to do this in all our future projects. Passive house isn't just about environment, it's about quality. I think the quality of the build has improved because of the passive house requirements.